Hello, my name is Jared. I'm from Zeo Matrix. And today I'm going to be talking to you about how to build year over year calculations in Tableau. So to get started, the first thing that we're going to want to do is define what period of time we want to analyze year over year. And what we're going to do for that is build two parameters. And these are going to be date parameters for our start date and end date. So we're going to create a date parameter for the start date. And then I can right click on that and duplicate it in order to uh, basically get an end date parameter that will do the same thing. So once I have that end date, I have both of my parameters. I'm going to show those over on the right hand side of the screen just so that we can see everything that we're doing. By default, they're both showing today's date, March 22nd, 2023. I'm going to change that start date to the beginning of the year, just so that we have our range of data. So we're gonna look at this from January 1st, 2023 until March 22nd, 2023. And the next thing that we we'll wanna do is define what we want to measure during that period of time. And so this is going to be our current period sales. And to get those current period sales, we're going to want to create a calculation where the date ordered is greater than or equal to our start date and the date ordered is less than or equal to our end date. That defines the period that we're looking at. And so we can drop that into an if statement and say, if the date ordered is after the start date, but before the end date, then I want to see the sales for that period. We close that with an end statement for our current period sales. The previous period is going to be the same thing, but for last year or whatever the previous year from our selected period is. And so I'm going to duplicate that calculation because it already has most of what we need. And this is going to become our prior period sales. So here we're looking at the date ordered compared to our start date and end date. And what we can do here is add a date add function to this to subtract one year from the start date. And we're going to do the same thing for the end date. We're going to take that date add function, specify that we want to change this at the year level and subtract one. So that's how that date add function works. We're saying that we wanna take our start date or our end date, and we want to subtract one from the year. And we do that by delineating those with commas in that order of the date part, the interval that we wanna change it by, and then the date that we want to change. So now for our prior period sales, what we have is if the date ordered is greater than or equal to the start date, but last year and less than or equal to the end date, but the previous year, then we wanna see the sales. And we can test this by bringing out our date ordered onto rows. We'll see all the different dates in our data. And then let's bring out that current period sales and the prior period sales. If we scroll down through uh, the sheet here, what we should see is that our prior period starts on January 1st of 2022 and ends on March 22nd, 2022. And our current period starts on January 1st, 2023, although there's no data for the first, so we get the second, and ends on March 22nd, 2023, which is the current period that we specified with our parameters. So now that we can see that we're getting the correct dates for those two different calculations, we can pull date ordered back off of rows and we can see that our current period sales is just over 250,000 and our prior period sales was just over 200,000. If we wanna see that change as a percentage, we can call this year over year percent change and we can take that current period divided by the prior period. And because we wanna see the change between the two, 
we're going to wrap this in parentheses and subtract one from it. Let's see what that looks like. That's gonna give us a zero because it's gonna round down from whatever that decimal is. So let's right click on that and format it. Here's one more little Easter egg I'll throw in here. We could use a percentage for the year over year change and we would get 24.98%. But when we talk about year over year change, sometimes it's helpful to see whether that's a positive or a negative change. And for that, we can use a custom format and the custom formatting um, for Tableau lets you specify the positive number format first, and then you can throw a semicolon in to specify the negative formatting. So in this case, we can put a plus sign before the positive, and then a semicolon and a minus sign with that same 0.00%. And we see that 24.98% is now changed to plus 24.98%. And that gives us our year over year change for January to date this year versus last year. Your end users can change that if they want to look at just month date, we can change that start date to 3-1 to 3-22. And there we see that we have 53,000 this year, 64,000 last year. That's a change of negative 16.79%. If we just wanted to look at the month of January, we could say 1-1-23 to 1-31-23. We see we go from 52 last year to 96 this year, a change of plus 82.09%. So this parameter solution for year over year comparison is super flexible. Your end users can specify any two dates that they wanna see. And this is going to show them the comparison to those dates the previous year. You can go in and change your uh, previous period calculations to account for if you want to look at the previous month instead of the previous year, if you wanted to look at previous quarter, you could actually add another parameter in to be able to swap back and forth between what letting your end user pick if they want to see the previous month, quarter, or year. And so this is really just scratching the surface of period over period comparisons, but hopefully this gives you enough to get started and uh, hope you have a lot of fun out there.